Welcome to Charlestown High School. My name is uh, William Thomas. I'm the headmaster of Charlestown High School. I've been here for about six years. I started as assistant headmaster, and then uh, after four years, uh, I became the headmaster, so I've been headmaster for uh, two years now. Families can expect more art at Charlestown High School. It's one of the things that I want to bring in uh, into Charlestown High School. Uh, we started looking into different grants into uh, getting more art into our school. So we were able to offer three dance classes this year. Uh, we have a culinary uh, cl a class this year as well. And we have an after school music program. And then I was able to assign one of my teachers to uh, be a theater, uh, theater teacher for one period. But then he took it upon himself to do an after school theater class. So those are some of the new things that, that are, one of the new things that are happening at Charleston High School. We're looking into um, addressing all students need. We're accepting all students and we try to find programs that, um, that would uh, fit in just about any student in the district. We have an SEI Spanish program, we have an SEI Chinese program, uh, that's a sheltered English immersion. So these are students who are bilingual who's been in, in the state for no more than a year for some of them, some of them maybe a couple of weeks, a couple of months. Um, we have a Diploma Plus program which is an alt ed program for uh, over age under accredited students, so students who might be struggling in the general ed population. And then we also offer on the other range uh, students who are successful in the traditional uh, school structure uh, AP courses, uh, and we're looking to expand, uh, expand on that. We currently offer AP Stats, AP Calculus, AP Physics, uh, US History, you know, some of the, the um, uh, basic AP courses. My name is Alex Calamara, and I've been working at Charleston High School for four years, and I really love it here. One of the things I do is I do community outreach. And what that means is I start talking to people in the community, in Boston and beyond, about what's happening in our school. And I try to bring them in to see our school, to see our classrooms, to meet our students, to talk to our teachers, to learn about what's going on and how we can kind of work together to create a quality public education for all students. Yeah, we have a lot of unique programming. Uh, in particular, we have Arabic, which is taught as a foreign language. We're one of the very few Boston public schools to offer this. We also have a very strong Arabic summer program that's federally funded. We have forensic science, which is an amazing hands-on science class. We also have a strong debate team. At the last tournament, we had 58 students representing our school. We took the tournament championship home. We do have a lot of sports, and that's always you know, popular and something the kids always ask about. And of course, basketball is the most popular sport, both for boys and girls. But cheerleading, uh, soccer, football, volleyball are all things that get kids kind of really involved in school and make them, make them members of our school community, which is really important. So one thing that's interesting is I actually was recruited from Las Vegas. I, I was recruited to start a forensic program here to get kids that weren't traditionally interested in science. What's unique about the forensic program at Charlestown is uh, you have some equipment in here that uh, professional agencies don't even have access to. Um, I know of no other high school in New England, let alone Boston, that has access to the equipment that our kids have access to. We've gotten a lot of kids that were never interested in science, interested in pursuing science now because this is kind of exciting, hands-on. Look, here comes another one. It's applied science, and so a lot of kids that wouldn't traditionally be drawn to science are now becoming more interested. We have begun to do internships with the kids, so our seniors are now working with forensic professionals in the field. We have them placed at places like Mass General Hospital, Boston Police Crime Lab, Boston Children's Hospital doing research. So that's another thing that's really up and coming. My name is Josette Tenius and I am a guidance counselor here at Charlestown High School. I've been in the um, guidance counseling role for about nine years now. So the class that you just saw is a college advisory course that I host every Thursdays with the juniors. Primarily we discuss college plans, we talk about resume and GPAs and ways to get our juniors ready for the college process. As you uh, know, the college process can be very intimidating and rigorous. So the more we get our students ready for the, for the college proce process, the better um, it is for them to um, get their applications and their essays completed on time and submit on time. My name is James Soares. I am the Arabic teacher at Charlestown High School. Um, I also am the debate coach uh, as well. So I mean, I became interested in Arabic because when I went to college, I didn't want to study anything normal. I didn't want to study Spanish, uh, German, Italian. So I found an Arabic course uh, where I studied at UMass Amherst, and I just fell in love with a, uh, with the language. So after a year or so, I studied abroad in Jordan and Egypt. 
and uh, came back with a pretty good working, uh, um, working concept of the language. I think generally the students responded very well. I think at first the students walk into the classroom and they kind of think, what did I get myself into? Because there's a whole different uh, alphabet, um, culture plays such a large part within the language. So I think at first they're a little taken aback. Uh, after a while though, I, I think they're really proud. I, I think they're um, really interested in learning something so different that's not offered really anywhere else. There's only, I believe, a couple of schools within BPS that offer Arabic. Uh, so for them to come to Charlestown and know that there's a strong Arabic program, both with not only one level but two levels of Arabic, I think is, is something uh, really important. So my name is Monique Kalyanidis. I've been a teacher at Charlestown High School for 12 years. I returned to Charlestown High School after graduating in 1997, just five years after graduation. Um, the program that you just saw was the OSDC program, and that program is Occupational Skills Development Center. And we are one of the few vocations left out of this group of offering so we used to have maintenance and other things in the school but culinary arts is one of the things that we pride ourselves on and a lot of our kids take part in the program for activities of daily living or life skills training but moreover many of our high functioning kids gain culinary skills and can use that to work or relate themselves to personal care when they get out of school and living on their own so annually the teachers put together a harvest feast all the teachers donate the food, cook it with the kids, and bring it in this day every year. And it's gone on since I was a student, so it's quite a, quite a while. Um, the kids come together and we have the entire program from our resource programs, our point four special education, which is more severe population, and we all eat together as a community. And we use it as a community builder so kids can get to know each other. So we do things like this um, almost I can't even say seasonally, we, we do quite a few events. So in a couple of weeks, our multi-handicapped population will have their holiday fair and they're going to have things for sale to support different needs in their program. So we are constantly looking at the needs within the community and saying, what can we do as a community to collaborate and create? And so the cafe is, is like I said, is a space for that, but then also the school just takes hold of all of that energy and really makes it a day-to-day -day event. I really enjoy working at Charlestown High School. Um, being here for five years has exposed me to a lot. Um, our student body is very diverse. Um, we have Hispanics, Asian students, Haitian American, African American students. So we are a melting pot. Um, and this is a very safe environment for our students. Our teachers are very welcoming and caring a lot about our students. Working at Charlestown has, has been absolutely wonderful. It is one of the few schools where I feel um, a natural fit for me as an educator. Um, I really believe in the mission of the school. Uh, we teach whoever comes here. There is no selective process. Um, Charlestown is a large open enrollment school that offers multiple different types of resources. Um, I guess I'd like people to know that um, Charlestown is just a great school. You can do so many different things here, whether it's sports, um, whether it's more academic type of activities after school, whether the, you need um, help with your academics or whether you need AP courses or advanced level courses. Uh, Charlestown really offers so many things to so many different students. And we definitely uh, welcome students and parents to come and visit us. Come check out our, our, our campus and see all the things that, that we offer. We would even love for you to stay the whole day and take a, a, a sample schedule of the students and go with one of the students um, uh, to all of their classes so you get a, get a chance to see a day in the life of a, a Charlestown High School student before you actually uh, commit to choosing a school. Mm -hmm.